Hello, 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 I'm Philip Magnus, and today I'll be talking about Marauders, Volume 1 from all the way back in 2019, or was it published in 2020? The run began in 2019, along with so many of Jonathan Hickman's Krakow-led Dawn of X adventures for the X-Men. Anyway, let's jump into it. Marauders, Volume 1, by Duggan. Catherine, Kitty, or Kate Bright in this case, as she likes to be called, and Emma Frost are two of my absolute favourite X-Men. The mere suspicion that they might take centre stage is invitation enough to pick this hardcover up. That their relationship is one of the driving forces behind this book is, well, chef's kiss. Kitty, oh, and I quote, call me Kate, pride has a problem. Whereas every other mutant can pass through the gates leading to the mutant homeland of Krakoa, she cannot. It all has to do with Kate's facing abilities, which apparently come into conflict with Krakoa, itself a living entity with a bizarre mutant biology. It's also an island, obviously. That means that Kate is the only mutant confined to your old-fashioned means of transportation, and none too happy about it. Enter Emma Frost, offering Kate a unique opportunity. What follows is drunkenness, frustration, and very welcome heroics. Before I knew it, I was staring down at this gorgeous piece of Kate, embracing a new position and persona. Look at that outfit. It's... I might just die. That's not to say that Kate isn't having a really hard time. She is. She used to be the mistress of the Xavier, or was it Jean Grey, school for mutants. She went to space to be Star-Lord for a hot minute. What was that about? She was dating Peter Quill, what was that about? And her wedding with fellow X-Men Colossus ended up collapsing in what I would liken to a wildfire at an oil factory. She's a little unmoored. Don't ask me how it's a wildfire at an oil factory. There was a forest next to the oil factory and it caught... You get what I'm saying, right? It caught fire and that's how, you know. Okay. She's a little unmoored, quite angry. And in the finest form, I've seen her in nearly a decade. That's to say, props on Duggan for writing her masterfully. Marauders is an X-Men book to the short and curlies, brimming, that's, that's something people say, brimming with heroics and conniving plots. The secondary villains, Hominis Verendi, hold no candle to a devious Black King, but he more than makes up for it. The volume concludes with Sebastian Shaw overjoyed in the face of his accomplishment. Considering the nature of that accomplishment, the expression drawn by series main artist Matteo Lolli gains a grotesque dimension. It's an amazing sixth issue, a triumph for a true villain. Moreover, it's done in such a way that sets my hatred for this fictional character ablaze. Duggan is a master of the cliffhanger overall. Half the issues in this first volume of The Marauders left me grasping for more and all too happy to have grabbed the hardcover, which has within the first 12 issues of this series, following Jonathan Hickman's departure from the X-Line of comic books in 2021. Duggan is the author that picks up the flagship X-Men title. Based on this first volume, I believe he'll leave his own mark. And sure enough, Jonathan Hickman's shoes are pretty hefty. I imagine them as these very hefty boots, not even normal shoes, boots to fill. Oh, but I haven't even touched on uh, Emma Frost, or for that matter, on the rest of the team. I suppose you'll have to return for my review of the second volume now, won't you? If you'd enjoy issue-by-issue issue breakdowns of each of the issues in this first volume from 1 to 6. I have those as a bonus, a sort of behind the scenes thing on my blog and also on my Goodreads account. And um, yeah, I think that's, that's that. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe, press the like button, you know, all the, all the good stuff. And most of all, just grab a coin book. They're in steep decline, from what I hear. We need to read more of them. 
any comic book would do, really. And I'll be telling you a lot about plenty of others, hopefully, in the near future. Until then, I'm Philip Magnus, and I will see you next time. Bye!